I'm here with Paco Vallejo. You just drew your game with uh, Who You Fun. Uh, it was an anti-Berlin, and it seemed to me that the move order was not very... Uh, it was a bit rare, maybe. First night BD2, then take on C6? Well, actually, yes. as far as I know, it's the first time she plays Berlin. Mm -hmm. And uh, unluckily, it's against me, because it's so solid opening, and it's, it's very hard to break. So, as it was her first time, I decided to try some strange idea. This night BD2 immediately, it's not so common. And actually, I think it actually worked because uh, she was a bit surprised and uh, I got a very interesting position. And it in, okay, we transposed into something where she had already castled on the short side, which gives her less opportunities, less possibilities than usually. And uh, well, actually, after knight c4, rook e8, I have plenty of interesting ideas there, but I thought uh, bishop g5 is such a tempting move because it looks. It looks very difficult for black to play in this position, but she found b5, and mm -hmm. this move is, is very good. And uh, after this move, there is no way I, I can be better there, and actually, yeah, I mean, but yeah, she was a bit lucky, I think, because without b5, it's, it's some trouble for black, definitely. Mm -hmm. But with b5, it's enough, but she, I mean, she didn't see bishop g5, and uh, she found it afterwards, mm -hmm. so... Uh, well, but on the other hand, well, I mean, it's the opening and it can happen, but mm. I mean, if I knew this b5, then then I should have played something else, bishop d2 or queen e2, and just to play a long game <laughs> with an interesting position. But the problem is after b5, it forces things very much, and it's it's not easy at all how to play with white, because knight e3, what I played, I didn't like it, but all the other options were also not very convincing. Mm. After knight a5, she has bishop b6. I thought at least, and she has super strong bishop on b6, and uh, this bishop g5 is not really working anymore. And in the final position, I'm definitely not better. I have 15 minutes, minutes less on the clock. Okay, I mean, maybe I should have played, but maybe, no, I, I think it was not the time to. Mm to try to be a hero, actually, so draw was correct, but I think even Black's position probably a bit easier to play. Mm. So, well, offering a draw was okay, but on the other hand, I'm a bit disappointed, of course, because I had white, and you want to press something, and I, I pressed during half an hour only, mm. it's not much. I mean, uh, well, but seeing how the others play it is like well almost nothing gonna happen today because so many draws and people who is already on plus some think they're pretty happy i think and uh, they keep making draws but uh, if you're on 50 well, are you surprised by this this was like in like two hours or two and a half hours for the like four boards were already empty and were surprising to you well it's not that surprising i mean i think people try to use white pieces to see what's happening what's happening in the opening mm -hmm. If you are lucky, then you, you keep playing. Like Grishuk, for example, he got a little bit better and then he kept playing. Or mm -hmm. like me, I was trying to... Oh, I mean, we were in 50%. Mm -hmm. But if these guys on plus something, they were happy to, to try to see what's happening in the, in the opening. Mm -hmm. If nothing special happens, then draw is fine. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you can keep your energy for more important moments, maybe. But on the other hand, for, for people who is on 50% like me, you have to try something, mm -hmm. and well, I mean, tomorrow will be another try. Does it mean that for the people on 50% like you, uh, this group might take a little bit more risk in the last two rounds? Well, the problem is, even if you want to take risk, uh, nowadays chess openings are so solid, mm -hmm. and uh, that it's, it's actually hard to, I mean, you need both players to want to take some risk, okay. otherwise it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was ready to go for some Sicilian today or mm -hmm. other sharp lines that she plays, but she played Berlin and it's, it's very hard to break through, for example. So you actually need both players to go wild to get some interesting positions. And it's actually very, very difficult to happen, yes. I mean, it's hard to. But on the other hand, well, two, two games to come mm -hmm. and still, I mean, well, I'm, I'm with 50%. It's, it's a normal result, more or less, but wanted a bit more. But okay, today was the normal. I mean, she didn't make any mistakes, so I cannot say anything about that. Okay, that was the fifth, fifth draw. It, apparently, it takes two to tango. Let's go back to the studio.